Hey guys, Ariel over here, and today I want to show you how to do a um, real quick summer recipe. This is a cold brewed mint tea. I have a, a hot brewed one with hot water that I had done a video of, I don't know, a year or so ago, which I also like, but when it's this warm, um, I really enjoy the cold brew. So I just picked a bunch of mint. As far as I know, mint grows wild across most of the country, um, and it's also very, very easy to cultivate, even if you just go to the grocery store and can buy fresh mint sprigs that look something like this, you could put one of these in a jar of water and you'll see it will soon start sprouting roots. The one thing to be aware of is don't put it somewhere you mind it going wild because it likes to spread a ton. So I've got three different kinds here. I don't know how well you can see the differences. This is a spearmint. It's a little bit of a paler green. This is a peppermint. Looks almost identical except a little darker. And this is what I've always called a meadow mint. It's got a little bit like furry leaves. There's tons of varieties. I like them all, and I like them mixed together. So, this is just regular, doesn't have to be cold, it's room temperature water. And I'm going to take my mint leaves that I've just cut, stems and all, and just kind of wring them like I'm wringing a, uh, a dish towel, a dish rag, and this, this is just to kind of crush and bruise the, um, the leaves a little bit so we can soak the flavor out of them. And I probably have too many leaves here for my jar. Let's see how many I can get it to fit in there. You could, of course, do any, um, any size jar of water you want. I just can go through a gallon pretty quickly, so that's a handy size to do. Just gotta keep stuffing them in the cold water here. Mint is um, excellent for digestion and... Um, also for problems with uh, colds and sinuses and so on. Plus it tastes amazing, which of course is a ideal reason to use lots of it. And especially since it's so easy to grow, um, it's even a perennial here in my cold climate. So I think you guys could probably grow it just about anywhere that you live. And like I said, very, very easy to start if you can get a sprig of fresh mint at the grocery store or, um, from a friend or whatever, it, it roots incredibly easily. And I like to use massive amounts of it because I have massive amounts growing. Let's see if we run out of room there in our water. Again, this is just kind of bruising it a little bit. It would probably work if you didn't, but it, it uh, helps the, the mint flavor soak out of the leaves a little more easily. And we're going to call that jar pretty full, I believe. Just try to stick all that under the water. Now, I like to let this sit for, oh, a, uh, I'd say at least an hour. If it has all day, it's even better. So I'm just going to put that lid on. You can shake it a couple times to Make sure the water's moving around in there. And then I'm just going to set this back on the counter inside in the shade and could start drinking it anytime later on today. I often just pour water straight out of the leaves, but you could certainly, if you have another gallon jar, dump it over, you know, and strain the leaves out. And I often just use them in the compost then because um, I have lots more mint if I need it for anything else. But it makes it a really nice... Oh, and the other thing is once I once I get the, grab the leaves out of there, I am going to put like a quarter cup of honey in um, just to sweeten it just a tiny little bit. But it gives it a really fresh taste, almost like the difference between eating... But it reminds me I was eating like fresh raw peas, which I really like um, when they're fr fresh from the garden, versus like steamed or cooked peas, which I also like, but they have slightly different flavors. It's kind of the difference I taste with doing just a cold brew like this versus putting hot water over the mint leaves. It just tastes fresher and greener and just really refreshing. So if you can get your hands on some mint or grow your own, it grows well in pots and containers and whatever, even if you've just got a little window or a deck. Like I said, super tough and hardy and can take over whole areas and you'll have it growing all through your lawn. Um, if you guys live anywhere close to me here and you want some, I've got plenty. I'd be happy to share. And make some tea and let me know if you like it. I, I think this is awesome. I love drinking um, fresh mint tea. Thanks for watching, folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, Click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.